Hi there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, we will see how we can improve or increase virtual memory or virtual RAM in your Windows computer or laptop. This optimization is especially useful in those cases where we have got very limited amount of physical RAM available. So first of all, let's see how can you check the amount of RAM available in your system. It is pretty easy. You need to press Windows button and type run here now hit enter and here we need to type ms info 32 and hit enter and if you scroll it down here you will see total physical memory so what we're going to do here is we're going to increase the amount of memory for that let me close this and now here we will be typing advanced system setting which you can see here let's click on it now here what we need to do is we need to go in advanced tab which we already are in and now go to this setting option which is inside performance let's click here and again let's go to advance and now here you will see this virtual memory option let's click on change and now here we need to uncheck this option and here let's click on custom size now here you need to define the size of virtual memory Let's say you have got enough disk space and you are using SSD, then it is great. Here you can define the initial size and maximum size. So I'm going to define 8 gigabyte as initial size and 16 gigabyte as maximum size. Since these values are in MB or megabyte, so here you need to add the value accordingly. So 16 gigabyte will be 16,384 MB. So let me type that and now let's click on set so here we can see the initial and maximum size is defined now let's click ok let's again click ok and in this way guys we have increased the amount of virtual ram or virtual memory in our system this will help us to boost system performance especially in those cases where we have got you know lesser amount of ram available for example 4 gigabyte 6 gigabyte or 8 gigabyte even i would say this is helpful in case of 16 gigabyte but in current scenario system having ram of 32 gigabyte or 64 gigabyte may not see noticeable difference but let's say if you are running a software that required a huge huge amount of ram for example you are running machine learning data set in those cases it is really helpful that's all guys from my side in this video. I hope that you find this video helpful and informational. If yes, then do like and subscribe to Technoholic to see more such content. And I will catch you soon with one such another video. Till then you take care and bye bye.